Uh, football's back. Jesus Christ, this new helmet rule is killing me. This new helmet rule. And I'll, I'm going to relate it to military, but I'm going to really try to make it steer it towards law enforcement, firefighters. I get they're trying to make the league safe. That, okay, every job should have a certain amount of safety applied to it, but you can't stop everything. You're already wearing a fucking helmet. Now you're telling these guys they can't lead with their head or, or that tackling them too hard. You get paid millions of dollars, and now you're going to fucking sit here and, and tell me that, oh, well, the, you know, I'm worried about CTE. How about people that go overseas and, and deal with explosives? Or I'm a combat engineer. We handle explosives. Wave. The blast wave is damaging. It can cause traumatic brain injury. But how about all these military veterans that they get to a certain age and they're just like, oh, they just have PTSD. Maybe there's a fucking coalition here between PTSD and CTE that you're not seeing. And you know what? We don't get paid millions of dollars to go out and do that. And we also don't get the, the input to be like, you know what? We're not going to work under these conditions. These overprivileged people. And then somebody brought up the idea with the kneeling. I don't care if you kneel. Whatever. Kneel. I fought for that. But on the other hand, we fought for their right to kneel. I agree with that. I fought for people to do a lot of things in this country. But they're using it as, as this. And I, I got a couple of things to say on this. So kneel all you want. That's that's my standpoint. Uh, you know, we provided that opportunity and that 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 freedom for them to do that. But when I signed up, when I signed into the military, nobody gave me a piece of paper and was like, hey, who are you providing freedom for? Who are you fighting for? Make a list, and, and you'll, only you'll only supply those people with freedom. No, I blanket covered everybody with my service, the f and, and it's still ongoing. Another aspect is I feel like it's becoming such a national thing, and you're starting to see like high school kids do it at their games, and I think there was like soccer players doing it last year. I think what this kneeling thing is, what it's supposed to stand for, what these players meant it to stand for, Kaepernick meant it to stand for, it's being interpreted wrong because you're getting a lot of these high school kids that are finding it trendy, and it's, they're starting to think it's cool, or, or they're starting to think it's it's uh, – It'll get them popular or go viral, and they're, I think they're really doing it for the wrong reasons, and I really wish that these NFL players, instead of just saying social injustice or, or, or um, uh, police violence, they would, they would come out and try to explain the people a little bit better their standpoint. And I think it's really starting to get muddled up and, and just go out, explain it so that you don't have some 17 year old uh, junior in high school playing, playing football, taking a knee for all, for the wrong reason. If if it's really a movement, make it happen. But then somebody brought up football's back, the kneeling's back, but football ended back in February. The last six months, where were these guys? Where was all the kneeling? Where was all the protests? Where was all, I didn't see any. 